Welcome to the UNV Certification Program. The topic of this video is UNV Analog Products Introduction. By the end of this course, you will understand the differences between UNV Analog Product Categories, comprehend the advantages, and have a good command of them. Today's training consists of three parts. First, we will give an overview. Then, an introduction about UNV Analog Camera. After that, we will move on to part of UNV Hybrid Video Recorder. We hope that you will enjoy it. First of all, let's have a look at the analog system and see how it works. It uses analog cameras to capture images and collect sounds, sending the analog signal through coaxial cable to a digital video recorder or hybrid video recorder. Then, the information will be recorded in the back-end devices. It's perfect for the scenarios like small streets, villages, convenience stores, and bakery. Next, let's move on to the UNV analog camera. The analog camera family is divided into two parts, dolphin series and whale series. The positioning between them is that the dolphin series is aimed at an entry-level market with plastic casing. Meanwhile, the whale series is for the middle and high-end market with metal casing. Let's specify these two series a little bit more. In the Dolphin series, we provide cost-effective cameras equipped with high-resolution and Color Hunter technology. We have released both Color Hunter and IR2 or 5 megapixels fixed cameras in turret and bullet. With similar specifications, the 2 megapixels fixed PTZ and 2 or 5 megapixels fixed dome camera is going to complement the appearance. Due to the rotation characteristics, the PT camera is planned to meet the need for wider view monitoring. Moreover, the IR2 megapixels fixed turret, as the most basic one, is designed as a uniarch device. Its small size and non-waterproof features are just right for indoor use. Now let's move on to another series. As we have mentioned before, the Whale series is mainly made of metal, which means it has a better dissipation ability and texture. Compared with the Dolphin series, more appearances and higher resolutions are available. In this series, the Color Hunter and Light Hunter technology are offered to achieve excellent performance. In this series, we have Color Hunter 2 or 5 megapixels fixed turret and bullet, as well as the Light Hunter 2 or 5 megapixels fixed dome and 2, 4, and 5 megapixels fixed turret and bullet camera. For the naming rules of UNV analog camera, you can refer to this page. Knowing all of these differences between them, let's take a closer look at the products. We will start with the Dolphin series first. The UNV 2 or 5 megapixels fixed turret and bullet camera is cost effective. If you want a 24 7 high quality image monitoring with limited budget, we would definitely recommend it for its value and performance. It meets the needs of daily monitoring perfectly for small scales such as convenience stores and small factories. For incidents like stealing or machine failure, it can identify timely, avoiding losses. Of course, with IP67 it's also suitable for outdoor use. For scenarios like small streets, it helps to capture evidence when there's a fighting or traffic accident no matter on a sunny or rainy day. Monitoring videos without audio information may cause misunderstandings sometimes, especially in complicated disputes. Due to its pan and tilt characteristics, it can meet the need for wider view monitoring. It is perfect for open areas such as the parking lot and intersections. When there's a traffic accident or conflict, it can accurately save the sound information with the built-in mic, effectively solving the problem. The next part is about the whale series. When there's an argument in the supermarket or restaurant, it's hard to make an agreement without audio information. Don't worry, the whale series cameras can help with that. With a built-in mic, it offers reliable multidimensional monitoring. 
Recorded conversations can be used as evidence to solve the conflict. It saves time and works much more effectively. Compared with the Dolphin series, it can illuminate up to 40 meters, which is much longer. Sometimes, since the target is at a distant corner of a supermarket, you can't see it. With this ability, it helps to illuminate and locate the target accurately even if it's far away. Between them, the Color Hunter 2 or 5 megapixels turret camera is mainly made of metal. As we can see in the picture, the rear cover is plastic and the rest is metal. Now let's watch a video to find out more. Meet the UNV Whale Series Analog Cameras. Hello, is anyone here? The new series of our analog family. That includes Color Hunter HD fixed turret and mini bullet. And comes with metal casing design. Start easily with plug and play function. And get high quality video image over coax. Easy to install. Even for end users with limited expertise. Delivering colorful image and clear detail, indoor or outdoor. Record audio with image and never lose any information. Hello, is anyone here? With Color Hunter LED light, you can still get colorful footage at dark. Use it wherever you want with high adaptability. This is UNV Whale Series. Imagine a warehouse at night. With all lights off, it is difficult to see details clearly in such a dark environment using the conventional infrared analog camera. If there are some unexpected situations, such as goods collapsing, it is impossible to identify and recover the losses in time. For situations like this, we would highly recommend our Light Hunter camera. With a wider aperture, it delivers appropriate brightness and clear images even in ultra low light. You can identify the details such as which item collapses and the severity. By the collected sound information, you can tell if the collapse is still going on. Thus, take action timely to protect your property. For the Light Hunter IR camera, we have multiple resolutions to choose from 2, 4 to 5 megapixels. The dome camera is also provided with IK10, which gives a complete protection from external mechanical impact. Among them, the turret and bullet camera are almost metal. As shown in the picture, the front and rear cover for turret are graphene and plastic, as well as the front cover and bracket for the bullet. Next, we are going to present UNV Hybrid Video Recorder. Before we start, it's important to keep the parameters in mind. Many of you may ask about the differences between input and encoding frame rates. The answer is below. They are different concepts. The fixed acquisition capability of AD chip supports specific frame rates and resolution, which you can refer to as the parameter in the input frame rate. Since XVR collects raw data, it will occupy a lot of hard disk space once stored. That's the reason why data should be compressed and encoded. However, the encoding capacity is mainly determined by the CPU. With different channels and CPU devices, you will have a distinct result in the encoding frame rate. It's also necessary to explain what light mode is. Because of the insufficient device performance, when accessing analog cameras with higher resolution, there will be a black screen. Therefore, to access and display the image normally, XVR has a light mode. In light mode, it makes interval extraction from the width pixels. Taking 4 megapixels as an example, when the AD chips detect that the resolution is 2560 times 1440, the 2560 width pixels will be extracted at intervals, the height pixels remaining unchanged. Finally, the resolution of each frame will be 1280 times 1440, and the resolution that AD chips output to the CPU remains 1280 times 1440.
The light mode shows the image with a normal aspect ratio after expansion, that's why we can watch the full screen display by default from the mobile app or local display. Now, let's have a look at our products through this layout. The UNV Backend XVR consists of four categories, which, as the resolution gets higher, are the F series, G3 series, Q3 series, and U3 series. The F series XVR, the most economic one, is designed for 2 megapixels camera input, encoding, and storage. The G3 series can access both 2 and 5 megapixels cameras. These two series are aimed at the entry level market. The Q3 and U3 series are mainly for the high resolution market, which supports full channel 5 and 8 megapixels access. They differ in the encoding ability, with one for 8 megapixels light at 8 frames per second and the other 8 megapixels at 8 frames per second. What's more, now we have released an analog kit as well. It's a combination including four analog cameras and one XVR, specially designed for the small scheme. As indicated in the layout, we will complement the XVR product line this year. What we are going to provide is XVR from 4 channels to 32 channels and 1 to 8 hard disk drives, varying from 2 megapixels to 8 megapixels. The completion of the entire series can meet the need from multiple levels, enhancing competitiveness. There will be 32 channels Q3 series XVR with 2, 4, and 8 hard disk drives. At the same time, 8 channels U3 series XVR with 2 hard disk drives and 16 channels with 8 hard disk drives. After learning all of these categories, let's have a look at the products in detail. Firstly, it's the F series. Among various kinds of XVR series, the F series is the first choice for an economic solution. It has a simplified chassis design with a mini size of 190 times 202 times 42 cubic millimeters, making the space saved. Besides, the L-type board design makes the hard disk directly connected, which eliminates the difficulty of the hard disk and data cable. F-Series XVR together with 2 megapixels cameras perfectly suits small-scale scenarios such as bistro and cafeteria. If you require a cost-effective camera with UniView quality, it is the one for you. Being the simplest one, it has all that you expect. It owns full-channel 2 megapixels access with ultra-motion detection, audio, and update over coaxial functions. If you are looking for a product for your office block, the Q3 Series XVR is the one for you. Designed for high-resolution markets, it supports full-channel 4K access, recording, and output. It's also with ultra-motion detection function. Furthermore, it has an audio over coaxial function, which allows to integrate video and audio. Lastly, it can be easily connected to the alarm and CCTV system. This page is to answer what audio over coaxial is. Here are two diagrams where you can find the differences between traditional audio and coaxial audio wiring. The traditional wiring requires a pickup and the audio channels are limited by the RCA audio input number. Compared with that, the coaxial audio wiring is connected to an audio camera. You can reuse the coaxial cable, which means there's no extra wiring needed. Besides, it supports full channels. On this page, we are going to talk about upgrade over coaxial. When requiring a temporary version to solve some problem, we can upgrade the analog camera through a coaxial cable instead of a serial port. In this way, there's no need to disassemble the camera. Once connecting the BNC port with the help of XVR, the coaxial upgrade is on. At present, the F series XVR supports this function. It can upgrade UNV analog camera while under TVI mode. It supports local upgrades with USB flash drive or through the web. Here is to answer what ultra motion detection is. 
Based on traditional motion detection, UNV Ultra Motion Detection has added a target classification function, which can filter from motor vehicles and pedestrians. In this way, it reduces false alarms, improves recording effects, and saves storage space. After triggering, there will be a snapshot. You can query the image and the corresponding 10 seconds recorded video through VCA retrieval. And in addition, the ultra motion detection still works while connected to the non UNV analog cameras. From this page, you can find the correspondence between our XVR and the analog camera, including UNV and non UNV. By comparison, you will find that when UNV XVR is paired with UNV analog camera, it will achieve better performance. F series, G3 series, Q3 series and U3 series XVR all support ultra motion detection. At the same time, under TVI mode, all series support audio over coaxial. Besides, our cameras can be upgraded once connected to F series XVR. With non UNV analog camera, it will not be possible. This part is to answer the compatibility of UNV XVR. To make a better match and form a competitive advantage for both front and back end products, UNV XVR develops an ultra standard adaptive display for its 5 megapixels analog camera. Once under default TVI mode, the XVR 301-08G3 and XVR 301-16G3 will identify our 5 megapixels analog camera and automatically adapt to 5 megapixels at 12.5 frames per second. The non-UNV analog camera of 5 megapixels at 20 frames per second or 4 megapixels at 30 or 25 frames per second will be connected with reduced resolution and it can be manually adjusted to 2 megapixels at 30 frames per second after displaying, according to its supported input frame rate. That's all for UNV analog products introduction training. Thanks for watching. See you next time.